Welcome back, True Seeker. It is a Friday, March 29th, 2024, and tragically, Louis Gossett Jr., famous actor, dead at 87. And what we're going to talk about is why it doesn't look like this death is from old age. Looks like there's something sinister about. And if you're new here, I talk about literally the same types of things almost every day. Case in point in yesterday's episode of News by the Numbers, this is technically episode three. So in episode two, just yesterday, I was talking about how a lot of rappers are about to become 59 years old. And we've documented over the years how many black entertainers have died in connection to this number 59. Well, here we are, you know, not even 24 hours later, because that was last night. We're midday today. Louis Gossett Jr. is dead 59 days from his upcoming May 27th birthday. And today's also the day leaving 277 days left in the year, which is the 59th prime number. And we've been explaining forever why this happens, why black men, and not just men, women, entertainers die in these 59 neutrals. And by the way, if you don't like hearing me say the word black because you find it offensive or like an insult, I don't mean it in that way. I just mean it in, you know... We've been taught that, you know, a person like me is a white person. I'm not saying it's right, but just for the point of being understood, language is to be understood. And if I remember to get into something, I'll talk what's interesting about people being referred to as black. But um, and it's not that the word lack is in it. I've heard a lot of black people say that they don't like black because lack is in it. But we'll, we'll get to what's interesting about black in light of what we know about history. But yes, 59. Again, Motown Records came out in 59. In a typical year, in a non-leap year, which is three out of the four years, Black History Month ends on February 28th, which is the 59th day of the year. So you have the death of this man, again, 59 days for his birthday. Just yesterday, I was bringing up, like, remember when Coolio died at age 59? On the 59th day of his age, on 59 date numerology, plus he died on the anniversary of the Stevie Wonder song being released pastime paradise when his sample for gangsta's paradise uses that song and again he died on the 46th anniversary in genesis 46 begins with sacrifice and again in gematria sacrifice equals 46 but coming back to 59 the word slave is 59 the word negro is 59 blues is 59 rost is 59 obama's secret service name the nation's first black president renegade 59 now the word slave is 59 the word slavery is 87. So you have the death of Lewis Gossett Jr., who was in you know, the movie Roots, for example, dead 59 days from his birthday at age 87. Okay? And because it's a leap year, he's dead on the 89th day of the year. Notice his full name. Lewis Cameron Gossett Jr. <clears throat> has Gematria of 89. If you're new here, how do you get this number value? Very simply, you take the alphabetic order and you apply numerology. So you see how it says L is worth three? That's because L is the 12th letter. The numerology of 12 is one plus two is three. O is the 15th letter of the alphabetic order. One plus five is six. So O is six. U, the 21st letter, becomes two plus one is three. So that's a way to decode. Another way is to just use the alphabetic order and, and not reduce to numerology, where U is the 21st letter. Remember, Prince had the hit song, I Would Die For You, with the number four and the letter U. So on Purple Rain, Prince died on 421. Just like how the song was, I would die for you. Four, you is the 21st letter. He dies 421, the Queen's birthday. Anyhow, this man's dead on the 89th day of the year. His full name, Gematria of 89. 89 is the 24th prime. He's dead in 2024. Uh, in light of him dying at age 87, we're going to talk about all the things that are interesting about that. One is this film he was in, A Gathering of Old Men, because, of course, yesterday, the day before his passing last night, a lot of wealthy people gathered in New York for the upcoming election. A gathering of old men. A lot of them were old, wealthy men. So 8759. If you're new here, I want to write out the word slate. Actually, you know what? You see how I have Good Friday up here, you guys? You see how Good Friday is also 59? Today is the 104th day of the Pope being 87 years old. Good Friday, 104, 59. 
Pope Francis in the same cipher equals 59. Remember, the 59th election is where Joe Biden was elected number 46, exactly 46 weeks after the Pope's birthday. Uh, Benedict stepped down on the 59th day of the year for Pope Francis. Again, Pope Francis is the first publicly Jesuit pope. Lincoln said the Jesuits were the greatest purveyors of slavery in America. So go figure that this ritual comes on a good Friday, the 104th day of the Pope's age, again, 59 days from his upcoming birthday. But notice the gematria of slavery. Slavery. 87, like his age of death. The 42 we'll get to. The 30 we'll touch on. You see how slavery is 102 when you run the alphabetic order forwards? It's 87 when you run the alphabetic order in reverse. He's dead 14 days before the anniversary of the start of the American Civil War, which was April 12th, 1861, the 102nd day of the year. But he's dead 14 days before that anniversary. And you see how slave is also 14 and 59? You see how slave is also 76? Look at this. Barack Obama, the nation's first black president. Barack Obama, 76. Just like slave. The word slave, Negro, blues, Rasta, they're all 76 and you run it in reverse like 59 forwards. And remember, Obama's book, A Promised Land, has that 5976 as well. Okay? But coming back to Obama, notice how Obama is 14 in the same cipher slave is. And then notice also that Renegade, his Secret Service name, and let's not forget the Secret Service was created the day Lincoln was assassinated and Obama's from the land of Lincoln and the Lincoln Monument was just on fire. New Civil War movie coming out. Lincoln elected in 1860. JFK elected in 1960. Assassinations of both of those presidents. The 60th presidential election is upcoming. But you see how renegade is 59 Obama's secret service name? And again, the 44th book of the Bible, like Obama was number 44, Acts 7-6, is one of the most infamous verses in the Bible about slavery. Obama's book, A Promised Land, came out on the day leaving 44 days left in the year and played on that slave code from the Bible, which goes back to Egypt. And we're going to get to how this actor, Louis Gossett, played Anwar Sadat, the Egyptian leader who was assassinated in 1981. Remember, 81 is a big number right now. Biden's 81 years old. Both President Trump and President Biden equal 81. Biden supposedly won the last election, getting 81 million votes. A record, even more than Obama, even though nobody has a Joe Biden bumper sticker anywhere. But anyhow, let's keep putting this together. If it gets overwhelming, just focus. Or if it does get overwhelming, just go back to the 8759 thing where we started. You know, just yesterday talking about how redundant this 59 pattern is. And then boom, the next day, another example for the history book. And look at this. The character he played, you guys, that he won the Oscar for, he became the first black man as a supporting actor to win an Oscar. And the character he played was Gunnery Sergeant Emily Foley. See how it equates to 353? That's the 71st prime number. His Hollywood acting career began in 53, so it's 71 years later. And remember, we've talked about this 71 pattern with African-American and Hollywood for some time. Um, here, let me, let me build up this older post. This post is from October of 2016. Birth of a Nation doesn't do well at the box office. Disappoints only earning 7.1 million, they said. And again, African-American has the gematria of 71, just like birth of a nation is 71. If you're wondering why this looks different, it's because the calculator that we used back then, you know, th this is the one we use now. That's um, it's, the, it's the same calculation method. It's just back when I made this post, uh, that calculator didn't exist. So this, this is what my older posts look like, but it's, it's the same math, same, same ciphers. African-American Birth of a Nation, both 71. Again, that film released on October 7th. If you write it 7 slash 10, it's 7 slash 1. There's that 7-1 sequence again. Zero. And then it was about Nat Turner, who was killed in history on 11-11 in 1831, where 31 is the 11th prime. But you add up that date as numerology. 11 plus 11 is 22. Plus 18 is 40, plus 31 is 71. One of the past numerology is 71 on the day he was killed. 
And shout out to uh, Safu Kar- Karu, longtime uh, contributor, who I'm sure he'll call back in someday. He used to help out a lot back in the day. He's busy. He's got kids. But, um, yeah, the, the point is this 71 patterns old. So now you have this actor dead 71 years after his Hollywood career began in 53. We've been talking about this stuff for years. Uh, that book, A Gathering of Old, or not book, but the film he was in, A Gathering of Old Men, it equals 87. That book was, it was, that film was based on a book published in 83. And that's noteworthy because one of his most famous roles is portraying Anwar Sadat in a film that came out in 83, two years after Sadat's actual assassination. And keep in mind, uh, you know, he was the leader of Egypt, biblical Egypt, where all of this is biblical ritual, history, history repeating itself, a cabal making it repeat. But Louis Gossett Jr. was 17 years, or excuse me, I got it backwards. Anwar Sadat was 17 years old when Louis Gossett Jr. was born, who would eventually portray him in this Hollywood film. Um, Louis, Louis. Gossett Jr. has died on his 307th day of his age. That's the 63rd prime number. Racism equals 63. If you have not read my books, Letters and Numbers, Number Games, I've written books about all these things and these same patterns and how these numbers come together redundantly in ritual. Racism has the 6399. So does Friday. This story breaks on a Friday. Keep in mind the 87 thing, too. He, he portrayed this Muslim leader who was assassinated. Muslim's another 87 word. Okay. Um, in light of him dying after the 96th Oscars, the ones that just happened, in light of his Oscars history, Oscars is also 87, right? He's dead at 87. And notice the word Freemason is 96 like he died just after the 96th oscars and his birthday may 27th is typically the 147th day of the year so again right after the 96th oscars with the birthday typically on the 147th day of the year you see the 42 as well remember the word slavery is also 42 and then 87 like we talked about played in in roots 102 like how the american civil war began in history on the 102nd day of the year, April 12th, 1861. And this year, Hollywood putting out a movie about a new civil war coming to America. And we've been talking about how they've been building this narrative. I've been talking about this exact thing since all the symbolism they've been doing with, um, you know, for, through Obama, through Trump, Obama in the time of, you know, being the president connected to Illinois, the land of Lincoln. Anyhow, you go through words connected to black history, you'll see how many have these same numbers. Like, look at the name Martin. Martin, as in Martin Luther King Jr., the Protestant Reformation leader. He has the 874230, okay? Um, Malcolm X. And think about it. Neither of these guys were born with Malcolm X or Martin as their names, but Malcolm X has the 30 and 42. Muhammad Ali, you know, not his birth name, has the 42. The 96, of course, the 201. If you're new here and you don't know 201, stick around. We talk about it all the time. Huge with the Jesuits who run this show. Uh, Huxtable, again, the Cosby show, the most famous black family in America through the TV. Huxtable, 3042. These numbers are biblical, too. Bible is 30. Jesus' ministry begins at 30. It begins with 42 generations to Jesus, the New Testament, the story of Jesus' life. And... We're always talking about the rituals they do with black men and deaths and clearly a, a biblical concept. Sometimes it's the son of an entertainer dying very prematurely. Again, these numbers do come from the Bible that they use. Jesus' physical description in the Bible describes him with hair like wool and darker complected skin. So like I say, always at least of some kind of, you would think, African descent, hair like wool, Middle East, not like white Jesus with the long flowing hair. But um, again, there's a reason why these numbers come together over and over with black men. And I describe this in much greater detail in my books, but since I have one hand to hold a mic and one to type, I don't just want to keep going down the list. 
The point is these number patterns are so redundant. So slavery, 87, slave, 59, dead at 87, 59 days for his birthday. And again, dead on the day, leaving 277 days left near the 59th prime. Now, to remind of um, some other big 80, well, actually, I'm, I'm not even going to go there yet because for the new person, it's just the next topic just always blows minds too much. People just aren't ready for something that's been known since the 1950s. It's crazy. In 2024, people still don't know. We'll get to it. But um, here, let's talk about the parallel with him playing Anwar Sadat, a name A-N-W-A-R, having the digits W-A-R like war. All these rumors of a bigger war brewing, Ukraine, Russia, what's going on in Israel, other places throughout the world, ongoing conflicts ever since 9-11. Uh, nations like Burma, where the military's taken over the government, rumors of China invading um, Taiwan. You know, they've always said for a long time, if that ever happened, that could set off World War III. Netanyahu coming back on Albert Pike's birthday, the 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 Mason who wrote the letter about three world wars that were published August 15th on the Jesuit Order's birthday. Everything that's been going on in recent time, that the Pike statue coming down and what they had to do with January 6th, all these rituals being played out. But look at this. In light of this actor portraying Sadat, think about the parallels. This film came out in 83. Anwar al-Sadat, 83. His name's also commonly written without the A-L, but um, that's also a common way that his name is written. 83, the movie came out in 83. One more time, Lewis Gossett Jr. was in a movie from 87 that I have not seen, but I want to check out A Gathering of Old Men in light of yesterday being the big political gathering with $25 million raised in New York. And um, the, the book that this movie's based on came out in 83, the same year this film came out. We got a big political election upcoming. He was a political assassination. Remember words like election, leap year, they equal 83. The big focus on Colorado this year and their ruling. Colorado is the 83 state. Um, again, you can see that Sadat, the miniseries with Louis Gossett in it, came out Halloween in 83. And... All right, follow this thought, right? We just talked about what the ritual with the collapse of the bridge in Baltimore, a predominantly black city, and it being connected to the Salvador Dali painting, the broken bridge in the dream. We talked about what it has to do with MLK's 95th birthday anniversary just passing when MLK was assassinated on the 95th day of the year. And a lot of people didn't catch that he was named after Martin Luther who wrote the 95 Theses, which he pinned on the date October 31st. So check this out. Check this out. Did I forget to put it down here in the list? I didn't. Okay. Baltimore's 95, Halloween's 95. Baltimore's also 41, like Halloween's also 41. This movie came out on Halloween in 83, 41 years ago. We just saw the owner of the Baltimore Orioles die on the 83rd day of the year, right before the collapse of the bridge. And the Orioles last won the World Series in 83. But Baltimore has this 95 connection, like Halloween, again, like. The Broken Bridge in the Dream, Martin Luther King Jr. had the I Have a Dream speech. Dream equals 41, like key equals 41. The key bridge came down, breaking the dream. Remember, USA equals 41. 41's the 13th prime number. Francis Scott Key wrote the national anthem for the 13 stripes. His The collapse of the bridge came 13 days before the great American solar eclipse of April 8th, which was also the mayor's birthday of Baltimore and his name is Brandon Scott and he went in on December 8th as the mayor and then Obama put his movie on Netflix that begins with an eclipse and then the power going down and chaos breaking out he put that out on December 8th and the black family the father and daughter in the film their name is Scott Brandon Scott Francis Scott Key Bridge Scottish Rite of Freemasonry been here since Practically the beginning, got the big headquarters in D.C. Masons have been here since the beginning. Scottish Rite shortly after. Scottish Rite 
their rites written by Jesuit priests, D.C., the Jesuit Masonic City. But yeah, okay, this 95 piece, right? You follow me about it being right after MLK's 95th birthday anniversary, which was this year, January 15, 2024, and then his son died a week later. We covered that, RIP to his son. Martin Luther, 95 Theses. Martin Luther King Jr. assassinated 95th day of 68, three days before the Club of Rome was established. All right. Again, the movie about the Egyptian leader assassinated, released on Halloween. Uh, the other year, the Braves um, had a major 95 ritual at the World Series when they won it. The year Hank Aaron died. Hank Aaron, who played 42 years in Major League, um, or who retired at age 42, excuse me. And Hank Aaron, or not Hank Aaron, but Jackie, who wore 42 when Jackie equals 42. Just going back to that slave list. But yeah, all of these things are connected ritual. And again, the, the world is a stage. Literally, the Illuminati, which was founded May 1st, 1776, has all the actors in the right positions. And we are just living out a script that they have planned and written long in advance. Um, you see how 666 equates to 95 and 103? I mentioned today's the 104th day of the Pope's age, which is true. You could also say it's 103 days after his birthday. And remember, the Jesuits, the plural equals 103. But 666 is the number of the beast as this 95-103 connection. And again, 95 goes with Halloween and Halloween. You know, it's it's the day of the dead, which is of, you know, of respect in Catholic culture, uh, Latin America. But... Um, a lot of people associate Halloween with the satanic, and the satanic associated with 666. Notice how the phrase number of the beast is 87. Again, the Pope's 87 right now. The Catholic Church equals 87. The founder of the Jesuits, Ignatius of Loyola, equals 87. The Jesuits have been described as wolves in sheep's clothing. Martin would have been 95. Martin's got the 87, like slavery. Again, just how these things fit together. Muslim equals 87, going with the parallels with Muhammad Ali and Malcolm X and how they got it by the code. Again, they got Muhammad Ali on June 3rd when they believed the prophet Muhammad died at age 63. And Muhammad Ali died in 2016, which is the 63rd triangular number, meaning if you had one through 63 together, it equals 2016. Remember, years before Muhammad Ali died, that was one of the first things I did early in my research. I said, watch, when Muhammad Ali turns 74, they're going to take his life. 74 is a big killing number. Muhammad equals 74. Exactly what happened. A anyway, um, from the death anniversary, or hold on, let me come back up here to um, the actual man. From the death anniversary of Sadat, October 6th to today, the day of this ritual, the death of the actor who portrayed him, um, it's 175 days later. Big number with the Pope. Again, Good Friday, 104. Today's the 104th day of the Pope's age, or 103 days after his birthday, going with the number of the beast connection in here. And from the anniversary of the release of the film on Halloween to today is 150 days later, Illuminati has that 150 connection. Remember when Alec Baldwin smoked the Ukrainian woman on the set of Rust right before Russia-Ukraine broke out? They said he smoked her at 1.50 p.m. local time. The thing that illuminates the earth is the sun. They say the sun's 150 million kilometers away on average. If you write out order of Illuminati and, e and use numerology, it equals 93. They say the sun's 93 million miles away on average. Remember, heliocentrism equals 150. The other way, it equals 201. It was agreed to in the century of the Jesuits, the 16th. At the same time, we got the calendar and the language established as we know it today. 150201, huge numbers of the Jesuits and the Illuminati. When Alec Baldwin shot the Ukrainian woman at 1.50 p.m. local time, it was 201 days after his birthday. And it was compared to the death of Bruce Lee while filming Game of Death. Bruce Lee died on the 201st day of the year. And then Brandon Lee died while filming The Crow in a massive ritual, which is too much to explain right now. And then got buried on the 93rd day of 93. Order of Illuminati 93 and 201, like the Jesuit orders 201, like Illuminati's 150. Again, it's all about the sun, which illuminates the earth. The Catholic Church began as a sun cult. And the Catholic Church celebrates the sun in the sky's birthday, December 25th. They also celebrate Jesus' birthday on that day, December 25th. And Anwar Sadat was born on December 25th. 
why he'd be such an important puppet and why his assassination in 81 matters a ton to this moment right now. Again, President Biden equals 81. President Trump equals 81. Assassination rumors everywhere. A brewing new civil war rumors everywhere. Biden, again, just all the 81s from Scranton, home of the office that ran 201 episodes where you see the Jesuit prep school flag in the episodes. But Scranton off Interstate 81, Joe Biden's hometown, the office. Then he goes on to have the Oval Office like Trump was the apprentice. And the first degree of Freemasonry is the honored apprentice. And Freemasonry equals 58 like secret society. And Trump won the 58th election. A anyway, I'm getting tangential. But um, yeah, again, looking to George Washington's letters about his concerns about the Illuminati infiltrating Freemasonry. And again, the Illuminati founded by a Jesuit. All these roads intersect. All this history intersects. All these things predate this country. So for the people who can't wrap their mind around, you have to say, this existed before this country. This is older than this country. So what do you mean it couldn't have been hijacked by this system? Where is your logic? This stuff adds up every day. Uh, again, right now we're in the time of the first Jesuit pope. And the interesting thing about the pope and the superior general is they're the first from Latin America as well. And the superior general is the leader of the Jesuits. He's 75 years old right now. Arturo, Arturo Sosa is. His birthday is November 12th, 1948. He's born in the year of Israel. He's 75 like Israel is right now. But the pope is 87, the first Jesuit pope. And you see the founder of the Jesuits' name, Ignatius Loyola, 75 forwards, 87 in reverse. This really crucial moment. Catholic Church is 75. The Catholic Church is 87. Big numbers right now. The name Martin equals 75 and 87. In light of how this is clearly synced up with Martin Luther King Jr. having his 95th birthday and birthday anniversary passed this year. These are big Jesuit numbers used in high ritual, like what we're witnessing right now. Collapse of the Key Bridge. Remember, Key Bridge equals 86. It came down on the 86th day of the year. It got 86 on the 86th day of the year, 86 weeks. And one day after Nancy Pelosi shook hands with the prime minister of Singapore in light of a Singaporean ship taking out the bridge in her home city, Baltimore, on her birthday, when she's a politician in the Bay Area where the Golden Gate Bridge is. Again, if you haven't seen my work on Baltimore, you got to go back and listen. But all of these things are related. From the death of um, the actual assassination of Anwar Sadat to the release of the TV series about him was a span of 108 weeks. The current leader of Egypt, his name, Abdel Fattah El Sisi, 108. El Sisi. El Sisi. It's El Sisi. 108. Special number. It has to do with the relationship with the Earth, Sun, and the Moon, and eclipses. 108. Again, we have an eclipse just days away, and 108 has to... If, if you forgot this, when we were younger, they taught it to us this way. The distance from the Earth to the Sun is the diameter, which means the distance across the Sun, the diameter of the Sun 108 times. And the distance from the Earth to the Moon is the diameter of the moon 108 times. And of course, the sun's a lot bigger than the moon, but they say it's that ratio in distances that makes it so eclipses happen. We have a big eclipse just days away. April 8th, 4-8, when Illuminati's 48. The Superior General born in 48. World War's 48. The Obama movie where World War's breaking out, power grids are going down. All things our government's been talking about for a long time. How we could get a major cyber attack takes down the grid. And now we got our uh, a former president putting out a movie like this when back when he wasn't the president, that's when Janet Napolitano, politician in Arizona, head of Department of Homeland Security, that's when she said the next 9-11 is not if but when. And it's the grid going down. And then Public Enemy, the hip hop group, put out the, the album the other year. What you going to do when the grid goes down with Arizona on the cover? And now we got the final four, the day of the eclipse, the championship, the day of the eclipse in Arizona. Again, guys, like I said, don't live in fear, but just, again, they always make things scarier than they are, but they have turned out power on significant portions of land and real estate for periods of time. And it could be like maybe worse than it's ever been. It could be out for a month. Hopefully not. But if it was out for a month, have a plan just in case. Do you have enough water on hand to ration water and make sure you're hydrated enough for a month, especially if it's warmer months? Do you have enough canned food that you could ration? You know, uh, 
a, a can of black beans can feed multiple people. You can probably get it for between 50 and 75 cents, depending on where you live in the nation. Organic would cost you a little bit more, than I'd recommend. But if you if you got to make sure you have enough of a supply, don't buy so much that if nothing happens, it all goes to waste. But buy things also that you'll eat and you can slowly eat over time and then replenish your supply and you need to. But just live in this world where, where you have the idea of, OK, crazy people rule over me. They've taken down towers before to start wars. What if they did turn out the power in my neighborhood for a period of time? I want to make sure I'm not caught with my pants down. Notice uh, this leader was born in 54. And in light of that, you know, I just talked about what they're doing with Diddy, the parallels to R. Kelly. And I've been talking about this since forever. Just how important 54 is to the Jesuits, whose headquarters, the House of the Geese, who at building 54. I mean, literally everything that happened to Diddy, we predicted and paralleled it to R. Kelly before he had the same Georgetown lawyer prosecuting him that prosecuted R. Kelly. Anyhow, th this current leader of Egypt, born in 54, and I want you to hear what uh, Louis Gossett Jr. said about hanging out at Club 54. Again, that's the old super cool hangout spot back in the day. And um, let, me, let me make sure I got the uh, – I got to switch the mic settings so you guys can hear this. All right. This is just real quick clips. I don't want to get a copyright. Listen to Lewis Gossett Jr. just reference Club 54. Remember, Jesuit Order 54, John Carroll 54, established Georgetown at age 54. Now a Georgetown prosecutor sending R. Kelly to prison at age 54 on September 27th, the day leaving 95 days left in the year when that was the day the Jesuits were recognized by Rome to counter the 95 Theses and now getting Diddy uh, in something that, that starts on the 27th anniversary of Biggie's Life After Death album that came out right after his death by the numbers on 3-9 when Biggie's 39 like New York. A anyway, listen to the actor talk about Club 54 here. Uh, just reminding you how important that number is. Success came excess, and Gossip would fall victim to his own fame and addiction. I'd get all the good reviews, which I did. And then finally, the field was set and fertilized with the people that I thought were having the best fun, black and white. They're laughing a lot, they had all the girls, the Studio 54, all the nightclubs, all the Playboy mansions and stuff. They invited me in. They invited him in, they mentioned him. You know, uh, he meant in Playboy right after Club 54. Hugh Hefner died in a huge 95 ritual right before Vegas got shot to pieces where he has a boulevard named after him. Um, Hugh Hefner died on that day, September 27th, known for wearing always uh, red, black, and white. And, and yes, yours truly does wear this red hoodie a lot. It's like the best piece of clothing I have for when it's cool weather and it's just easy to wear around the house. But the actual real Jesuit color scheme is red, white, and black. Don't, don't, don't accuse me. I'm not a member. But um, that's why a tiger, Tiger Woods equals 54 forwards and backwards like Jesuit order, like sun. That's why on a Sunday, he always wore red and black. And remember when he supposedly got hurt in that car accident, which we never saw any proof of? That was on the 54th day of the year. And again, just you can go on and on with all the 54s in entertainment. It's another big number. It's just a reminder of who's running the show. The Jesuits, the Sun Cult. And um, okay, let me let me close up some slides here. The, the current president who, who took office, it's 511 weeks since he became president of Egypt. Again, the man who's dead today portrayed a former leader of Egypt who was assassinated in 81. But it's 511 weeks later. That's important because Saturn equates to 511. Saturn's the keeper of time connected to death and judgment. Trump's first convention or, uh, run for office, 2015, 2016, that he won. His campaign was 511 days, and he survived an assassination scare reportedly in Nevada on the fifth day of the 11th month, the 5th of November, which is the day of the election this year, 2024, which is also Guy Fox Day, the day the Jesuits tried to blow up British Parliament. Um, today is 117 months since he took office on June 8th, 6-8. CIA equals 68, Central Intelligence Agency equals 117. We just talked about the significance of Biden passing his infrastructure bill in the 117th Congress and then him bringing it up after the bridge collapse, where bridge equals 117. In reverse, 45 forwards, and the governor of Maryland is 45 years old and from Tacoma Park when the worst bridge collapse in history happened in Tacoma Narrows. 
in Washington State on November 7th, and it'll be the 84th anniversary of that this year, like the bridge came down in Baltimore on Nancy Pelosi's 84th birthday when Salvador Dali died at 84, and this collapse came 433 days after the governor took office, the 84th prime. I, I mean, the, the CIA 68, look into the death of Castro's son at age 68. They said it was a suicide. He died 433 days after his father. Again, the 84th prime when Jesuits 84 and his father was a Jesuit. And his father died 433 days after shaking hands with the Pope. And the Pope's the first Jesuit Pope. And he's got 84 birth numerology, born December 17th, 1936. 12 plus 17 plus 19 plus 36, 84. So check this out. In light of rituals, the word ritual equals 81 in reverse, 45 forward, or excuse me, 81 forwards and backwards and 45 in reverse does ritual. Like Berlin Wall equals 45. Donald Trump called the 45th president-elect on the anniversary of the fall of the wall. President Trump equals 81 like ritual. Ritual also equals 27, and Trump was called president-elect on the 27th anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall. A anyway, when Sadat was assassinated, Gossett Jr. was 45 years old. He was 45 years old. Think about that. And there's all these parallels with the upcoming election. Biden's 81 years old. Donald Trump's number 45. We know Donald Trump's ex-wife fell down the stairs and died exactly 60 weeks into the Jesuit Ignatian year when Donald Trump announced that day that he'd be running for the 60th presidential election. Um... The assassination of Al Anwar al-Sadat came on the 243rd day of Ronald Reagan's age. He was the president then. Remember, Reagan ran on Make America Great Again originally. He was a Hollywood actor like Trump before becoming president. But it matters that it was the 243rd day of Reagan's age because Central Intelligence Agency equates to 243. Again, our CIA has been all over the place since it was created in, in 1947. It's overthrowing. I mean, it, it's on the public record that they overthrew several South American countries and their dictators to fight communism and overthrew the, uh, the leader of Iran for the sake of the uh, blood of industry, oil. Got to make sure it's flowing at the right price to the United States of America. If not, the bombs are coming. The Marines are on their way. What'd you say? You know what I mean? Again, you guys, this nation was taken over a long time ago, at the beginning, really. And the point I'm making is this Illuminati thing's just growing and growing, and, and they're they're experts at managing humanity. They know how to keep people's on the path where they just grind and and pay their taxes and and put up with all the bullshit. Again, you guys, we're all slaves. You know, they love to use black men in, in the slave rituals, but we're all slaves to this system. We're all witnessing this. We're all being lied to. We're all being made to pay for this. That's why humanity's got to wake up to how sick this stuff is. I was looking at Too Short because yesterday I was talking about how we got to get Too Short to talk about this. He's talking about real things on Sirius XM, trying to give people real advice. I'm like, we got to make sure Too Short knows about this so we're not reading his obituary when, when he turns 59. He's going to turn 58 next month, April 18th. I was laughing because he has the same birthday as my dad. I was like, what? That was crazy. But... Um, yeah, that, that'll be the one-year countdown until he turns 59. It, it's just, there. there's so many stories we've covered over the years, the, these horrible 59 rituals. And um, let me see if this one pulls up. There, there were three in one day. Yeah, Andre Harrell, I want to say it was, was it uh, Little Richard and then a, a singer from Motown as well. All three with the 59 connection, all dead. But Andre Harrell connected to Diddy, uh, Motown CEO, Motown established in 59. He just dropped dead at age 59. Emphasize, emphasize the puffy. There's that 74 for killing, like how we knew Muhammad Ali was going to go with 74. Oh, yeah, he died on the 187th day at Diddy's age, too. and That's, that's homicide code. Remember, Dre and uh, Snoop Dogg made 187 famous, and then... Dr. Dre's son died 187 days from his birthday, supposedly from a super suicide. This news about his death at 59 was announced at Club Quarantine. That's where the news broke. 59. Derek Jones made the announcement. 59. Motown since 59. Again, Negro Slave, Blues Rasta. 50. 
Bad Boy Records, 5976. Barack Obama, 76. Renegade, 59. A Promised Land, 5976. Yeah, let's not forget what they did to Marvin Gaye or Rodney King. Of course, Rodney King set off the race riots, 59, just playing us. These numerical rituals. Yeah, anyway, I have books I have b- books out there about this. And um, mm, Detroit's the city on the 83rd Meridian ri- West. In, in Detroit, Michigan's 83, and they had the big ritual in the NHL the day of the bridge collapse. Collapse is 83. Ah, I, uh, sorry, I'm just thinking out loud, but. Yeah, let me just pull up the Coolio one too. I mean, it was like the most. I think it was the worst. It was. The, it was. There, there's so many of these 59 rituals, but the Coolio one was just like, oh my. I mean, this happened like four years after my first book came out on on the killing of black entertainers by the 59 code, and it was just like, see, if this knowledge had spread like it was supposed to, they would not be able to get away with this. Coolio dead at 59, and he died the day after the big Jesuit reckoning. Recognition anniversary. Died on the 271st day of the year. Gangsta's Paradise 271. Maybe I just wrote everything down and didn't put screenshots in here. But yeah, if you go look. Here, let's go back. His birthday is August 1st. Interesting. There's that 8-1. Born in 63. Racism 63. Goes out in a racist ritual by the numbers. But from August 1st to the end of the month, there's 31 days. So that's 30 days later. To September 28th, that's 28 days later, so it's 58 days later. But if you include August 1st, which is the day of his birth, it's his 59th day of his age. So it's 58 days after his birthday or his 59th day of his age. And again, the date numerology that day was 9 plus 28 plus 22, which is 59. Just perfect ritual. And then it was the anniversary of Pastime Paradise coming out, the Stevie Wonder um, song. Oh, and then and then it was the 46th anniversary of the Stevie Wonder song coming out again. Sacrifice 46, like Genesis 46, and then on April 6th, 4 6, they came out and said Coolio died from fentanyl. They had to wait till 4 6 to put that out, and then on that same day they had Michael K. Williams' death in the news, and they said he I OD'd as well, and from his death to that news was 19 months and OD's 19 from Coolio's death that day was 190 days the 19th triangular number you see how they do this it's like these men are killed in rituals and then news headlines emerge in rituals and then they become headlines that are relatable to the people because there's a fentanyl crisis in the country because it's been purposely fed into the country remember fentanyl was approved in 1968 that infamous year the same year coronavirus was coined, the same year World Trade Center construction began in New York and 911 was made the national emergency dialing code and a lot of things in 1968. MLK assassination, RFK assassination. All right, let me see. I'm getting long in the tooth. I went longer than I meant to. Um, so, yeah, this Sadat thing is wild. And, and look how they're like blowing up the pyramids, too. Could say more about that. With regards to him being dead at 87, I want to go back to this ritual from a little more than a year ago. The march from Selma, you know, MLK's march from Selma. Selma's on the 87th Meridian West. And the march from Selma to Montgomery was 87 kilometers. It was also 54 miles, you see? See how they did that? Jesuit Order 54, the Catholic Church 87. The way these numbers come together, number of the beast, 87, mark of the beast, 54. But that year, just the other year, there was a huge tornado in Selma right before MLK's birthday anniversary. And tornado's 87. And again, you look into weather warfare, first admitted to in 1952 on August 15th, which is the day the Jesuits were credited in Paris, France. September 27th, the day they were recognized by Rome. Two big Jesuit days, August 15th, September 27th. But again, Tornado 87, Martin 87, Slavery 87, Weather Warfare being a real thing. Uh, When that ritual happened, it was 54 years since the MLK assassination. That was 2022. 54 years later. 
Jesuits putting their stamp on it. Their headquarters, the house of the Jesu at Building 54 in Italy. Yeah, there's even more to this. In the time of the 54th governor. Anyway. Um... You know, look at look at this right here. Just being, a, you, you'll you'll see this stuff all the time. Sports are totally rigged, you guys, and we're showing year after year. Uh, case in point, the the first black quarterback to win a Super Bowl was Doug Williams for the nation's capital uh, when George D.C. was built by slaves. But that was the 87-88 season, and Doug Williams had four touchdowns in the second quarter, and then one with 42 points, a double 42 in the game. But slavery, 87-42. That was the 87-88 season. George Washington, 88, slave owner. They won the Super Bowl in 88, paying tribute to history. But yeah, here, here's Baltimore not too far away. There's a million examples like this. For somebody who's like, that's just cherry-picked, there's a million examples like this. We're just talking about Baltimore right now. This is from years ago, 2019. The North is not enough, 102.87. Slavery, 102.87. We're talking about it today. This actor's death at 87, right before... The anniversary of the start of the American Civil War. The 102nd day of the year in non-leap years. This year it'll fall on the 103rd day of the year like this man who's dead today, Louis Gossett Jr., is dead 103 days after the Pope's birthday. Jesuits, 103. Lincoln blamed the Civil War on the Jesuits. Obama equals 103, who just put out the movie, you know, related to all this predictive programming. I'll pull up the... the uh, yeah, here's an old post on Doug Williams, all the slave code. Again, the Pope's 87 right now. Today's 103 days after the Pope's birthday. So if you do it like this, it's 103 days after. If you do it with the, the, the full date included, it's his 104th day of his age. And again, this ritual on Good Friday, Good Friday, 104, like Roman Catholic Church is 104, Good Friday, 59, like Slave Negro Blues Rost is 59, Slavery's 87. But again, today leaves 277 days left in the year, the 59th prime, and it's 59 days before Louis Gossett Jr.'s upcoming May 27th birthday. Not an accident. Just a reminder that we're on a calendar. Again, we're on a 52-week calendar established at the end of the 16th century, the century of the Jesuits named after the Pope, when the Pope's got that 52 connection. You see how Pope's also 56? Look at uh, Lewis Gossett Jr., 56, right? In reverse, 88. This ritual synced up with his upcoming 88th birthday. In a non-leap year, when they remember his death anniversary, when people go to his grave on March 29th, it will be the 88th day of the year. Because in a leap year, today's the 88th day of the year. And, and where we began, his full name. Because he's dead on the 89th day of the year. But his full name in what we call the most pure cipher, the one I got right from Manly P. Hall's The Secret Teachings of All Ages, Lewis Cameron Gossett Jr., 89, dead on the 89th day of the leap year. Murder by Numbers, the song, put out in 83, the same year he portrayed Anwar Sadat. The same year A Gathering of Old Men was published as a book, 83. Murder equals 83. They got Haley Celestia in a big 83 ritual once upon a time. Ethiopia is also 83. So is Yeshua, the true name of Jesus, and some people believe Haley Celesti was Jesus' return to earth. A anyhow, Murder by Numbers, the song in 83 about how killings as simple as ABC, 1, 2, 3, it's the sport of the elected. Again, Gematria, the killing name, another song that's out there about how America's a killing name. Gematria, the practice of going numbers into words. Day after day, these rituals pile up, and there's just so many examples. So... Let me go out to the call board. We got three callers. Let's take these three calls, and then we'll call it a show. Um, let me switch over the audio settings so we can hear everyone crystal clear and a little less clear. But okay, first caller, 269. What do you want to add to the show, 269? 269? Hello? All right, 269 is awfully shy. I don't hear him. Let's try out 732. 732, you're on. Hello? 
Hello. Hey, should I bet Clippers tonight? What'd you say? Should I bet the Clippers tonight? <laughs> it's that. Again, you guys want sport picks? Join the Patreon. Join the Patreon if you want sports. But I imagine that's just a troll just harassing. Let's try out 443. 443. Can you hear me? I can hear you. All right. So I, I'm trying to explain a lot of gematria stuff to a lot of people, a lot of family members. They call me crazy. They call it coincidences. I, I'm tired of the fucking idiots out there calling all this shit coincidences. And I, and if, if I can, I'd like to give you a coincidence, a couple of coincidences. Look up the EPA uh, executive order that, uh, that Biden signed uh, the other week. He signed an executive order with all, a whole shit ton of EPA regulations. Look up the spending bills that Brandon Scott, the mayor of Baltimore, just passed on EPA shit. New electric cars for all the city workers. Look up the spending bills that the governor of Maryland just passed. These were all days ago. And what's, how do you, for you can't force people to not use fossil fuels. You can take all that shit away by collapsing a bridge to a major port that brings all that shit in. Coal, fuel, cars. I think the number I saw at the Baltimore port is the ninth largest by uh, in trade by volume in the world. It's the biggest on the, in, next to the West Coast in the country. You can force people to go green. Apparently 81 million people like this. Is it me or is, is, is something wrong? Did you say 81 million? Maybe I need my did, head Did check. you just say 81 million? 81 million people like this shit, right? Well, where do you think they're it, getting it, that number from? It's a coincidence. Yeah, where are they getting that number from? No, I don't know, 81 million people that voted for Biden. Yeah, we know that didn't happen. So. <laughs> well, wait, well <laughs> except for the people they call it. All the numbers, coincidences. I just gave you three coincidences right there, and they'll argue that tooth and nail. Yeah. Hey, it just so happens that all these EPA regulations are being passed and, and right before a bridge collapses to, to keep all the fossil fuel, all the coal out, keep the, keep the, keep the cars out. We can't have any cars coming in every, if, if we want to have a 15-minute city. Indeed, indeed. I mean, where does it stop? How many, how many more of these incidences need to take place before people wake up? I, I if it, if it, you know what, if it takes an, enough to make depopulation happen, let it happen. Well, again, we're coming into this really curious moment. In, uh, this, this is what we were talking about, how, what, what could happen once the Georgia Guidestones turn 44 years old. Uh, we've been talking about this since I got here in 2013, why that 44th anniversary mattered so much. It's, it's a deadly number, and, you know, you got a big act of war in Russia that day, and strange infrastructure thing. Is the oh, I, I saw the, 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 the other day, I saw the, on CNN, the Coast Guard had reported... There's 56 sea containers on that ship contain well, hazardous material. And they said there were 4,700 total containers for another 47 to go with 47 <laughs> years after the bridge collapsed and them having to report the water was 47 degrees. I know that's what's crazy about people calling coincidence. I mean, we're here educating about 47 and how they just stick it in stories if you pay attention. And they stuck it all over this one. 47 degree water and 4,700 containers. And again, 47 years after the bridge was open, what are the odds? They try and say you can pick numbers. You can make anything out of the numbers. I mean, come on. No. Hey, people are asleep. We need depopulation. Well, it's we, we... Say. I, I mean, I really, it's, it really is. I, I wish something could be done.
we need people to use their brain but yeah if they cannot then we do need i mean i don't want to use the terminology of the the klaus schwab jesuit leader at the world economic forum but i i get the great reset idea with where humanity is right now it's like we need a serious kick in the pants so <laughs> it's it's holding everyone back how many how many people want to continue to pay for this shit? I mean, I mean the solutions are simple if I can get every voting, every person that's old enough to vote, just don't pay your taxes anymore. Yeah, well, I mean, it's just hard because, I mean, the way it's set up, I mean, what Mar Marvin Gaye saying about it in the, uh, what, 70s about, you know, it makes them want to holler. They take the money before he even sees it because that's how everyone's paycheck set up. You get your check after they already took the taxes out of it. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's, it's hard. I mean, let's stop shopping at all the big box stores we know who owns all those but but we, we know, know the trap right Walmart. i mean i've seen this trap so well and understood it they they have to shop at walmart because they hardly have any money so they can only afford to shop at walmart because their prices are slightly better than the mom and pop shop that would actually be better for the community and the next thing you know the mom and pop shops out of business so the better jobs in town no longer exist and now the people who work there now work at walmart and now they can only afford to shop at Walmart because they don't have enough money for anything else. I mean, that that's the cycle we're in and people don't see it. And this machine, this I, Illuminati I, I, machine I, I, just keeps I, squeezing humanity more and more until just Walmart runs the whole damn place or Walmart is on uh, NVIDIA. I, I, you know, whatever one company it will eventually be. So, Yeah, we're quickly turning into a third world country if we haven't reached that already. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. pitiful. I just came from Syracuse for a, a college sporting event. And that, I wouldn't recommend anyone going to Syracuse. It's a shithole. <laughs> There's more homeless on the street than workers. Sure, sure. <laughs> yeah. It's it's pathetic. I'm just, just waiting for the next one. You know it's gonna be. I don't know what, it, it could be the, I don't wanna start naming bridges because somebody's listening, you get blamed for it. But who knows? Hey, did you hear about a bridge, a, a bus that ran off a bridge in South Africa, killing 45? I, I did see that. That I was on Wednesday. That. And again, bridge equals 45. Uh, we've been talking about that bridge 45 pattern a lot from Liz Trust, uh, the, the woman who disappeared and then they thought fell off the bridge. And then um, now this all over the place. It's just, yeah, you know, uh, maybe you guys... They, they, they keep bringing pundits on talking about how many more places something like this could happen, uh, just how many vulnerable um, bridges there are in the, in the states that are that are long overdue for a major overhaul. You know, I've been thinking about one that's from where I grew up. Uh, I grew up in Portland, Vancouver, in the Pacific Northwest, in Interstate 5, the major freeway that runs the whole West Coast, the bridge that connects Oregon and Washington there on Interstate 5, uh, for years, they've been, I mean, since I was a child, they've been talking about replacing that bridge and how it needs to be replaced. And it's getting old and there's been debate about how sound it is. I'm like, God, what if the reason they haven't done anything about the bridge is because they're just waiting until the day it's, it's the PSYOP. To, I mean, imagine if I-5, you cannot go down I-5. I mean, huge, <laughs> huge traffic problem. And, and that's the way they could, uh, these kind of things, these major interruptions, that, that's what it kills me out of America. Like this thing they just did in Baltimore. The thing is that the government could have got away with doing that in four cities in four successive days and the population would think it's all a coincidence. That's what's so scary. We could be here exposing and well, turn out the same. They could collapse five bridges in a row in five days and say they all fell down at 128 in the morning and we'd show them how bridge collapses 128 and they'd be like, that's got to be a coincidence. That's the spell humanity's under. That's why him and I are both ranting about how they might as well just get on yeah. with the Georgia Guidestones and the Great Reset. Because it's like, what are we going to do to get out of the coma to stop this game that's being played with yeah. our lives, which costs us all this let's money? Get, let's, get, let's get on with it. Can we fast forward this game? Let's get on with it. All right, man. Well, I appreciate the comment. Let somebody else get in. But thank you, 443. Uh, all right. Please. Take care. All right. We got a call from 702. If you want to phone in, the number's on the, the show. We can take a few more calls. And we got to wrap it up. 702. Shalom, shalom, Zach. How you doing, bro? No more. How are you? Hey, I appreciate you so much. Thank hey, you. Hey, all is well, bro. All is well. Uh, I tapped in with you during the Lahaina fires. 
because I'm looking everywhere on the internet because I'm like, man, this shit looks crazy as hell. I have military experience, nine years. I wasn't fooled by the uh, situation that happened. I call it anchovy, okay, because, you know, they have people putting on masks and doing all types of weird stuff. So I had the chemical, biological, radiological training. And there's a reason why they tell you to shave in the military. And they say it's so your gas mask has a seal. So something's traveling around in the air, okay, uh, a a freaking... N95 mask ain't going to do shit. Right. And then when they said you can wear a bandana, I knew the fix was in. I was like, oh, no, you guys are suckers, literally. Mm -hmm. Look at you. Suckers. Dude, Zach, I respect you. You got me to look at Manly P. Hall in a whole different way. When you spoke about his studies and hermetics and things, you, you cured me, bro, because... I had a problem with my magnetism, controlling my magnetism. And I'm going to talk directly to you. Excuse me, your audience might not understand what I'm about to say. But what I did was I I have been able to successfully tether into uh, faith, hope, and love. And I'm in there, bro. Like, nothing's changing me. Um. I, I seen that you you were on your show today. I do have something I want to talk about, by the way. But I seen that you you you're live streaming today, and I was like, man, just let me get in. I actually wanted to send you a copy of my book that I published in 2017 because I thought I'm out here alone, bro. But when I found you after the Lahaina fires, I've been listening to you ever since. And just like the bro in Texas, it's like, shoot, uh, you know, the guy he said he's homeless and living out, uh, you know, in the woods or whatever. And but he still listens to you, Zach. You're 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 telling the truth. We need this, and thank you for everything that you do. I haven't uh, officially contributed in any way to what you're doing. Uh, however, I will, and 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 I just I'm just glad to have this time and this moment to speak to you. And but however, what I wanted to talk about and what I want to talk about is the word smart. Because a lot of people say the word smart, but they don't know what they're talking about. And by the way, I am 45 in my 46th year, uh, supposedly right now, on that that evil ass calendar. So, you know, the the previous caller, when he said 45, that's like, oh, he's kind of introducing me. I didn't even know I was going to come on next, but here I am. And I appreciate you. But yeah, that's, that's my smoke is with that word smart. That's my purpose is to change the whole fucking world. Excuse my language. Is to change the world because they don't really know what smart means in the Bible. You said it. You said the Bible is their playbook. I never heard anybody else say that but me. Okay? I've never heard anybody else say that but me. On my journey, the way that I'm studying because uh, I really got hardcore around 2013, 2014, too. And I used to be an oath keeper from 20, uh, from 2009. Yeah, because I, I was in the military, so I, I realized what, what Stuart Rose was doing. But I left Stuart Rose in, you know, about 2014 because of we we're having communication errors. I was advising him up until then. He just couldn't see what uh, so-called black people are going through. And that's what I was trying to help him with. I was trying to, you know, advise him on black or so-called black culture. Cause I don't call myself black. I would never do that in public uh, because I'm not black. We were called something else before. So I don't care about propaganda. I know exactly where it came from. You know, those people that, that you talk about with confidence and bravery these Jesuits or or Catholics, and I love them because they do teach us at the same time, but we we fail to to understand the movies. We fail to to comprehend the language that we speak. We fail to to give reverence to to strength and power, and then we just run around with our little credit scores talking about the mark of the beast is coming. The mark of the beast is coming, but you have a credit score. That's written into your forehead. 
I haven't cared about my credit score since 2013. And then somebody wants to try to call me smart and I say, I'd rather you call me the N word than to call me smart. That's all I have to say, my brother. I love you, brother Zach. You're just, you're doing everything right. Well, I, I appreciate the support and the compliment. And Thank you. you for that. Thank you for the call too. Yeah, no, absolutely, man. You, you just, you, you deserve it. And I know you don't even, you're not thinking like that because you're kind of like a military guy, like, like me. You're like, Hey, you know, shit, I don't need the flowers. I just need the support so I can keep doing more. Um, well, you yeah. want to win the mission too, I'm, right? I'm on the same. That, here's yeah. how it is for me. Every day I get up and I just know there's more work to do because we're losing more and more. We're further behind. I'm like, uh, we're, we're down a thousand points, but I'm not going to give up because I'm not going out like a punk. But yeah, I, I keep realizing too that there's a there's a massive team of people that if they would just wake up, we actually could change the paradigm and what's taking place in this world. It's just somehow getting people to snap out of the mental coma. So. Yes, and and that you you are positioned in a place that's perfect. I I have studied the Bible since 2013, documented. I documented everything that I've done, every move that I've made. Um, so far as my studying, because I rejected Jesus. I'm not coming on here with that story. Because when I really accepted Jesus is when I realized that he never existed. That's when I really was able to accept the teachings. I, believe, I know that sounds counterintuitive, but that's what happened. Then I started getting the lessons. What he was actually saying and teaching, teaching and whatnot. There's YouTube, which is a bastion of of information and knowledge. YouTube's in my library. I've read so many books, 1984, Animal Farm. There's just so many books. I read the Gospel of Mary. Now, this is what I want to bring significance and attention to. In the Gospel of Mary, it's made known that Mary was Jesus, Jesus's, or Yeshua, I can say that too, was Yeshua's favorite apostle. I don't think a lot of people know that. Matter of fact, they don't know that. I've been doing this for 10 years myself, like studying and, and weighing against this and weighing against that. So the Gospel of Mary, I highly, highly would love if you, if you could check out that audio book, learn about the seven uh, powers of the wicked that, that's in the Gospel of Mary, because Mary is very important, and Mary is the reason why females are defective today, period. And, and also the Gospel of Thomas, verse one, 114. Yeah, Gospel of Mary, and then if you Google search the Gospel of Thomas, verse 114, that explains the trans agenda. Yeah, you know, with the transsexuals and stuff like that, because that's what Jesus was doing, but what he was doing was actually letting male and female know that when you read when it says male when it says female that's not you the scriptures is an asexual document there's two things there's two things to understand about the the big push for transgender right now that I, that i think need to be said again in kabbalah god is part male part female and again they're using this kabbalistic knowledge to do everything and remember, Caitlyn Jenner equals 201, like Jewish mysticism, like the Jesuit order, like order of Illuminati. And there, there's a lot of, there's so many 201s in the LGBTQ things that we've been documenting. There's it's crazy. But um, so you have the Kabbalah piece. And then also, you know, the Church of Satan, you had Anton LaVey die 201 days after his birthday and 201 days before the Pope's birthday, the founder of the Church of Satan. Well, their symbols Baphomet, which is male and female as well. And there's clearly a relationship with, you know, the Church of Satan and the Jesuits and wolves in sheep's clothing and using this Kabbalistic knowledge. That, that's why you find that there's a reason that they put their 201 stamp on all their agendas. And again, all the agendas that they're pushing right now all have to do with population control. And a lot of these agendas go back to 1968, the year the book, The Population Bomb, was written, which is 201 pages long. Caller, hey, I really appreciate the call. I just ha I have to end this stream here because my sweet lady is going to be home in a few minutes. And I got to get her some dinner going because she's going to be starving. But um, call us back because we'll be doing a lot more I live streams.
I yeah. got you. Like, I want to give you this one last feather, this one last feather. Okay, okay. so Anton LaVey published the Satanic Bible in 1966. So when you go back 300 years before that, you have the uh, uh, Seth to KV Trust Act of 1666 after the English Civil War. So 1666, Seth to KV Trust Act, that's important. Because that, that, that was uh, the day that they declared the walking dead. And so everybody's dead right now until they you know, do some kind of process with the government or just wake up. Since 1666, and then you have Anton LaVey, the 201 information is perfect. Thank you so much for giving me that. Because uh, that makes him make sense out there in San Francisco. I appreciate you, Zach. Thank you so much, brother, for everything that you do. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for the call. You take care. Okay, shalom, shalom. Yeah, thank you. And, and he brought up the thing about how he does not refer to people as black. And a lot of people don't like when I use the word. I, I don't mean it in any derogatory way. I just mean the way that, you know, even though it's not right, we you say someone like me is white, someone who's darker could like me, they're, they're black. But anyway, the point about the gematria black. If you guys are new here, we talk about these rituals all the time with these numbers and, and black. Uh, recently, just before the new Bob Marley movie came out, uh, One Love. You see how one love equals 34? You see how black equals 34 and 11? Um, Aston Barrett from that group dropped dead on the 34th day of the year, 11 days before the movie came out on Valentine's Day. Black, 1134. Uh, black, 106. Black Lives Matter is also 106. Um, a lot of prophe prophecies, 106. They do a lot of prophecy-related rituals with black men. Obama, when he put out his book, A Promised Land, he put that out 106 days after his birthday. And then um, 29 is 11 in numerology. But again, they code 42 all over black history, 30 all over black history. Jesus' ministry begins at age 30, 42 generations of Jesus. The description of Jesus describes a man with hair like wool. You see how black is 11 and 30... You see how Jesus is 11 and 34, just like black? Then the other year, science came out and they said they traced the day of Jesus' crucifixion to April 3rd, which can be written 3 slash 4 like 34, or 4, 4 slash 3 like Jesus Christ was 43. And again, that's the 93rd day of the year, and crucifix is 93 like God's son, the sun in the sky 93 million miles away, Jesus from Nazareth, which is a place in the sky 93, order of Illuminati, Gave us the Bible as we know it. Synced up the language, the calendar, the religion, all into one system that's about the sun and allegories of the sun and the stars. We call the most important people on earth stars. A anyhow. Um, I got to make sweet lady dinner, like I said, so we'll leave it there. But uh, again, I hope in the future we have more callers. Be nice to get more callers on these shows and, and more on topic. But yeah, again, please uh, feel free to clip, clip these videos into smaller segments. The 8759 piece with the death of the actor where we began. That's very graspable. Graspable. Again, if you guys got here late. Slavery 87102, like the American Civil War began on the 102nd day of the year. The actor's dead at 87, 59 days from his birthday, but 14 days from the anniversary of the start of the American Civil War, which had to do with slavery. And... Um, Hold on, let me let me pull up one more thing real quick. Let me type in Garland Civil War. You got this new Civil War movie coming out on the anniversary of that date, 322 days after Alex Garland's birthday, the director. But the trailer for that film debuted 201 days after his birthday. Huge number in the Civil War again. Big number with the Jesuits and the Illuminati, and Lincoln blamed the Civil War on the Jesuits. But 201 days after his birthday, the trailer came out. And what was trending at that time was the death of Andre Brower, who was also in Roots, like Louis Gossett. And he's Jesuit educated like Denzel. But uh, he was also in class of 61, was Andre Brower. And then if I'm not mistaken, yeah, he passed at age 61. And his news was buzzing at the time of this new Civil War trailer. And you can just see how this, this thing works. 201, big number of the Jesuits. Famous Jesuit actor in these Civil War Confederate movies having to do with history and race and division. He's dead. It's just... Again, we got to get people to care somehow. 
They got Kirsten Dunst in this movie at age 41. Born in April, like the start month of the Civil War. They put out the trailer 228 days after her birthday, after her 41st, United States of America 228, USA 41, Dream 41, Key 41, The Broken Bridge in the Dream. The Key Bridge comes down right after the symbolic 95th birthday anniversary of Martin Luther when Baltimore's the 95th city. Everything we started with at the beginning, but... Yeah, again, we're living out a big Jesuit script, and, and we gotta we got to end this script. we got to say, oh, that's what humanity has to do. They have to say, okay, I see that the game's being played with our lives. How do we stop it? Again, we stop it by organizing, networking, informing, showing what really runs our government, what the overtaxation is all about, what the endless wars are all about. Again, what all the fear-mongering is all about, the people who try to turn this paradise into a, a nightmare, and they do it through the screens and the ideas they put in people's minds and what they taught us in slave school. All of this needs to be ended, and it can if people find their courage. So, again, you guys want to help me get out and pound pavement and, like, be in a place like Baltimore right now, talking in the streets like we've done in other major cities from New York to Seattle to everywhere in between to Oklahoma City. Again, getting out there on an important anniversary, spreading knowledge and awareness. It takes resources to do things. Thank you again to everyone who supports the work. All the places to support the work are in the description of the video. And, um, let me see a again. Thank you to all the generous people real quick. If you would like to support the work, if you've never supported it before, again, $1 makes all the difference. I always say like, if everybody watching the stream chipped in a dollar, we'd be rolling. But, um, yeah, again, and if you guys are new here, I do pay for things that you can use for free. Like check out the website, free to find truth dot com high quality website it's got an app that goes with it it's a place to post information and not feel you won't be censored there there's no censorship there you can document whatever whatever you can't talk about anywhere else on the internet on social media you can talk about there you can start discussions there you can link up and find people in your community there it's like uh the facebook for truth seekers free to find truth.com on my website free gematria calculator that works offline to download so again Able to do these things because of the people who do support the work. And thank you to all of those people. And until next time, true seeker.